Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate and hopefully umless digital artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Savior, happy birthday. Thank you, Jeff. That was awesome. We got to celebrate the... Uh, the third anniversary of my 49th birthday the other night. Yes, yes, we did. It was it was an excellent, excellent time. Anytime you go out and there's belly dancers involved, and belly dancers. And steak to and, die for. And your wife, our wives, so yeah. there was nothing weird going on about it, but it, yes. And it, it was just a really, really good time. Steak, some some good alcohol, our wives, and belly dancers. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Some good company and a good time. So, what's up with you? What's up with me? What is up with me? A lot is up. The first thing I'm going to cover is I'm slowly moving like a turtle on my painting of far. Right now I've got far in the way up there. Everybody can kind of see the contrast between the two. They're side by side. Away picture finished. And we got the far, and also some exciting things. This is the new iMac. Uh, I picked up a little bit of speed. Uh, the monitor is right there. My wife, uh, my wife's computer, pretty much finished off dying. I. We, but you rescued the data. Oh yeah, I got lucky. I did a little tinkering, got it to run up, got the important stuff off. That's, you know, made my wife happy, which is very, very important. And now I'm taking that down. I'm going to take out the faulty disk, start her back up, and run that as my music server. The old iMac, which there's almost nothing wrong with, will become her computer. Now she's going to be lightning fast for doing all the business, uh, her business, my business, taxes, everything. It'll be the business computer. And... Uh, we'll go forward. So we're a step away from getting back to the Mac store. I bought it through the Mac store. They gave me a super deal, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, picked it up that day, got Photoshop working, worked with Adobe. One of the hard things to do when you're working on a computer is when you get a brand new computer, there's a lot of things. For instance, the newest computer iMac no longer has a DVD uh, CD drive on it. Uh, it'll share another CD, DVD, or you could go out and buy one. I was able to share the one off my old iMac. Had to bring in, but when you transfer software from one computer to the other, computer software companies hate that. They make that the most impossible thing. And I have to give the thumbs up to Adobe because I worked with Adobe on Saturday night. The service representative was super. I was able to get it done by Sunday morning. I had my Photoshop up and running found the old disc and everything, and was able to now run this to do strictly artwork. I don't have anything else on. I'm gonna set up a, I bought the one-on-one -on -one program so that I can go to the Apple Store, they'll work with me, they'll migrate my data between the two computers, do a little bit of training with me, and then send me back on my way. So that's where I'm That going. sounds pretty awesome. If I do say so myself, folks, the camera doesn't do the screen justice, it is crystal clear. And the speed with which, you know, I thought your other one was fast. I mean, it was no slouch, but this is like turbocharged or something because it opens up those large uh, paintings in record time. So I think it's probably gonna be a, you know, a very nice, pleasurable purchase and one that'll make you even more productive. Well, I'm just, the, the main thing will be the heat. It's always the heat with this, with the old one, if it gets a little, I had to do a lot to keep it cool on the hot days, but this is supposed to run a lot cooler. That's one of the, you know, and it's a lot thinner. It's unbelie unbelievably thin and light. Well, that gets me to what have I been doing? Besides getting this all hooked up and everything, I've been working hard, once again, on the marketing aspect of Computer Art Man. I've been getting my website fixed up updated. I've been working with Carolyn Edland as far as getting, uh, working towards the visiting, or not the visiting, but the um, featured artist on Artsy Shark. That'll be coming up in the coming, coming months. I have my submission of all the artwork and then all my, my um, 
paragraph with everything that's news that new that is happening with me. I'm excited at that. But I'm also excited that I was able to do when I was doing the photography to update uh, Computer Art Man's profiles on Facebook and on Twitter, which I did. I was able to shoot a shot, uh, a photo shoot with myself in my studio and I entered that into a contest for an Artsy Shark t-shirt. I didn't win the t-shirt, but I got in on the email. So at anybody who's an Artsy Shark um, member, it was sent out to. And it's a fairly extensive list. And I was able to, through my tracking program today, see I got about 25 hits directly from that email, which is pretty good when you look at how social media works, 25 hits from an email of people coming, visiting your site, and most of the hits that I was getting, I could tell were quality hits because they were going to multiple pages and spending time there. So I wanna thank uh, Carolyn for including me in that contest. Awesome, Carolyn, thank you. Right, so now what I'm doing also is I'm at a couple, I'm at Coral Flot, and I'm also at Fine Art America. And I'm looking at those specific websites at the moment to fine tune them and do the things I need to do to be more seen. And there's a lot of different things. For instance, at Fine Art America, you can go through and following their instructions, get do some specific things as far as promoting them, which allows them to promote you more through their website. So I'm working on those things this week. Then the coming weeks, I'm gonna to start to get, I've got a couple outline sites. There's um, Jason Silvestri has the Toppler project. That's an outlying site. There's Leap Direct, which is another outside line. And those, and then there's also one that just center point art, and I believe it's called Artsy. Those sites I'm signed up for, have an account, but I really haven't done much with them. So then in between now and the next video blog, I'm gonna go through and do the research and the, what I need to do to get a better presence on those particular sites. That brings me to the last thing, what I'm gonna do, is that one of the things I'm, I'm coming up, March will be um, a year of being at Second April Gallery, working with Craig, and I've been, active but not as active as i should be there's a lot of information but really as active as i've been on the internet i need to start to get as active in the art community also personally i need to get out there and meet people and start volunteering a little bit of my services to help out with everything that all the artists and uh, that artists can do with their gallery, working towards getting shows with other galleries. There's a lot of different things you can do, but I've, but what I've, my research is showing is that if you don't do that, no one's really gonna take you as serious in the art community. So then that's the part that you first have to infiltrate, and then once you infiltrate the artists and the gallery owners and the, just the art community itself, then that leads to them promoting you where it counts to the art buyers. So I'll be doing a lot of that in the, in the next coming months. Plus, in this next week, I'll be redesigning the space at 2nd April Gallery so that on February 1st, which is next Friday, I'll have a uh, pretty a uh, new, well-designed uh, art wall coming up just for that first Friday. That sounds exciting. And so I want anybody watching this in the Canton area, make sure you get down there on first Friday. That's going to be a fun day. We're really going to push just art for that particular day. So that's where we're at right now. It's another update. Any? Oh, we'll do one last thing. I'll leave you with... I'm almost finished with the sand. We could get a little bit, I'll get a little bit out of the way here. Since we're not zooming, we're gonna do a, you can see, 
And folks, we've had to make some adjustments with our lighting with this new screen. It's so bright, so clear, and so sharp that uh, the image that I had before we started taping this edition of the blog, it would appear that you know Jeff was being beamed up by the mothership. So I apologize for any glare you're seeing. We're going to have to work on that for next week. So you can see I'm getting substantially through the sand. I got a little bit more to do through here. And then I'm going to be up into the the grassy the grassy area sky, and then finish off with the lighthouse. So hopefully next two weeks I'll be finished with far in, and starting to get into the next painting. And once I'm finished with that, then the Cape Cod series, the series will be finished, and then I'll start making the push to promote the Cape Cod series through the different uh, media's, and hopefully. Have a, a, I'm going to push to get into an art gallery in Cape Cod and then also have a local show here. So we'll see how that all works out. Until next time, Computer Art Man and Xavier are out of here. And folks, be sure to go to artsyshark.com and check out all the artists on Carolyn's wonderful website. Thanks again, Carolyn. Thanks, folks.